we're going to go. So, so ladies and gentlemen, there was uh, some confusion on my part about uh, the exact syntax uh, for creating a read-only um, uh, aspect of state, a, a thing which is, um, which can change over time, but only this class itself can change it. And the suggestion, which Kurt had identified, was we could declare it, for example, as, uh, we could, let's suppose we only wanted income to be changed within this class. We could declare it as private, right? And, and then we could explicitly define an accessor. Is that correct, Kurt? Mm -hmm. And, but how does it refer to the uh, the variable here? Right. Okay. So ah, this is what it is. So. But income has to be named that way in the private var under var income up top. Oh. Okay. Okay. So. You're just you're just using a different name. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Got it. So now, so here, we we. We actually have a distinct name for the name of the uh, variable, um, which is uh, stored inside, and the this um, this public accessor. There's going to be a private accessor for this variable provided, but it's going to be private, so it can't be accessed from outside. This is going to be the one accessible from outside. So if we go and we Java p this. Um, Maybe we'll take a look at both public and private so we can see them in all their fulsomeness. Um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's a private double income. here we have a private, it's a, a, a private income, and, and there's a, this is the decompiled sort of Java version of it. There's a private income. Um, and then there's a private accessor. And in fact, a private setter for it, which helps us build more robust classes because even our internal methods really, we should minimize the amount of times they directly frob that variable and instead we could delegate to things that set it, for example, um, that, that, that can be a good principle to adhere to. But here's the public accessor. But because we have not chosen to provide a public setter, there is none. So this provides a way of, for external clients of person two, getting access to the in, to to the um, as a getter, to the to the income, but no way for them to set it. But internally, we can set it and read it. Okay, and it's it's um, through this convention of providing an underbar which means that there's no name clash between this on the one hand and this on the other. Thanks very much, Kurt. That's much appreciated. And those recording, those hearing it online, I'm sure will be uh, grateful to, for varying contributions.